Hey everyone, this is Mistax, and I am here to bring you your, one of your first looks into Star Citizen with the Constellation and the Freelancer. So what we have here is the Deluxe Hangar, and that's part of the Constellation package, I believe. Uh, the Freelancer package gives you a Business Hangar, which is slightly more crisp, but yeah. I got a constellation, so I don't have it. Uh, here we have it. This is the constellation. Beautiful ship, if you ask me. Um, right now, it's in a semi-retracted slash deployed state because of the landing struts underneath the engines. And here we have the front bit, the cockpit of the freelancer, the flight deck. I'm just going to switch to third person view here because then you can see all the uh, animations as well. There we go. Uh, the legs are a little glitchy. This is actually a bug in the current release. Um, it's pre, 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 pre alpha. So we're not going to let that bother us. Um, right, so the constellation. Uh, what we have over here, this is actually the shielded uh, lower turret which, as of right now, is not operational yet. Uh, we're hoping for that in a future release of the hangar. But for now, all we can do is look at it. Um, up here we have the uh, the front section. This actually is movable once, uh, once the ship's in flight. Uh, it retracts and extends based on your current uh, flight mode. These MK3 things are um, VTOL fins. Uh, when they open up, you uh, they will uh, reveal the VTOL fins, which you will use to land and take off uh, in the atmosphere, I believe. There's another couple one over here. There's the freelancer in the distance. We'll get to that later. A different video. Uh, here's another pair. If you can see those things up there, those are your control threads. That's his ass. Those are your control thrusters up there. I can't actually point at it because I don't have a mouse yet. But it's there. Alright, so there's docking collar. This, by the way, is the engine. I believe with later upgrades, this top section of the engine can be upgraded with a turret, but I'm not sure right now. I should probably check that out, but you know. Yeah. Right now I'm doing different things. <laughs> I'm sure some people would be able to quote you the entire stats from heart. I can't and I'm not really going to either, but you know, this is the big ass bottom engine. One of them anyway. Alright, so we're just gonna walk over under here. You can see here part of the uh, mechanism that uh, Slides the uh, engine nacelles around. More VTOL fins as well. Take a quick crouch here. You can see the animations on the uh, the character. This is all the the character's animations are all done using motion capture, by the way. So it's uh, apart from the jittery, it's uh, it's very realistic. It's not uh, snappy or anything. Everything is smooth. Except, of course, with lower legs. Yeah. Alright, so here we is the Axis Elevator. And for this bit, I'm going to switch back to first person, because you know, it's better that way. So, we walk up to here, we stand on the elevator. As you can see, it's, sh it's uh, locked by a uh, access tube. And we are just going to take the elevator up here. I do hope that takes longer when, you know, you're in zero G or something, because that's otherwise that's going to be a bitch. Um, here we have the, uh, well, the Millennium Falcon style table thing, I guess. It's, of course it's a little different, but it reminds me of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, some consoles that don't really do much right now. A few minor storage things, you know. 
maybe a handgun you can store here later, I don't know. Over here we have the flight deck. Uh, actually, I think this is part of a weapon rack or supply storage, I don't know exactly. These uh, consoles aren't telling me much yet. Over here is the access tube towards the turrets, which currently don't really work. Uh, there is a way uh, to you know, actually deploy the top turret, and maybe even the bottom one, I haven't figured that out yet, but it's just an animation. You can't really control it. That's actually a very ugly piece of rendering right here. Wow. Alright, so um, I'm not going to show you that, because it's not finished, and it's, you know, by luck that people found it. So, the flight deck. Uh, this is actually really cool. You have the center's chair for, uh, of course, the pilot, the captain, whatever you want to call it. Um, then there's the uh, co-pilot and the navigator, I guess. I don't know. Um, during actual flight, I think one of them will hop into the turret and the other one will uh, get in the back into the uh, auxiliary fighter, the P-52. So, let's just uh, take a seat in the chair and see what happens then. Cause it's a pretty sweet animation. Systems activate. Uh, there we go. So this is basically the view of the uh, pilot uh, in in the game. It's uh, pretty sweet. There's the uh, you know, the heads up display. I'm pretty sure you can at some point deploy these, and these will have actually have a function. But for now, yeah, not really. Um, over here, it's controlled by two different joysticks, which control the four engines in the, uh, the fly-by-wire system. If I turn left, they will turn left as well. If I turn right, they're turning right. If I move them forward, actually, this is backwards. I forgot the controls are inverted. And forward. And I think this middle bit here is actually used for landing, but I don't know. We'll have to see once uh, December hits with the uh, combat uh, alpha. Anyway, so this is basically the uh, flight deck and the, uh, the cockpit. Alright, so getting out. The chair rotates. The console slap away. I get out. A little glitchy still, but I'm sure they'll fix that. Alright, moving on to the cargo bit. So this is the uh, Constellation's cargo bay. I'm pretty sure there's more to it, because this entire section can deploy upward. Uh, just not now, because it hasn't been implemented yet. Um, and then you can you know, access the fighter underneath. If we look over here, this is actually the access hatch towards the fighter. If we look through the window, you can actually see part of it right there and my knees. <laughs> so it's actually a really sweet fighter. Um, some people have been able to get it rendered in the engine. I am not that good with CryEngine, so I haven't tried yet and I probably won't bother either. Uh, there's other people who can show you those videos. So this actually deploys upwards when it's finished and you'll be able to get into the cockpit real easy. Then it deploys down again, and you, the uh, bottom bay is released, and the fighter is released. And over here we have the uh, social bit. Uh, these are either containers or beds that still need to be deployed. I think they're just containers though. And that's actually the bathroom right here. Um, the bathroom doesn't currently work, at least last time I checked it didn't. Nope, doesn't work. Um, I don't know why, I guess it's not finished yet. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so, a little, so, a little uh, social area, you know, rear cargo, I don't know, whichever you want to call it. And, oh, yeah, that's right, we have the uh, access hatches over here, the, uh, the airlocks over here. So, when someone docks in your ship, this is basically one way for them to get in here. The glass is actually a little jittery now. We have a good look over there at the Freelancer, which I will show in my next video. I know a little bit less about that one, but it's still a very good ship. Uh, a lot of controversy about the forums about that one. Um, 
and I think that's about it. I'm just going to walk around outside. Actually, I'm going to walk up the ramp outside. Airlock. I am going to go run up to the elevator back there so I can give you guys a top view of the ship. A little soundless still, but you know, pretty pre alpha, so. Going up. And just gonna turn around here so I can go through the access hatch. So, there it is. That's the constellation. She's a beauty. Can't say anything other than that. There's uh, two big ass guns on there as well. Holy crap. Nice. Alright. So, that's the constellation and the uh, a part of the business hangar. If you get a constellation, I think you get the business. Uh, the, sorry, not the business hangar. The deluxe hangar. That's what it was. Big ass space doors up there. There's actually a part that I haven't shown you yet, and that's what we're coming up to now. It is the hollow table. For that, I'm going to put down my controller once I activate this. Uh, this will allow you to swing. Uh, this will allow you to uh, configure your ships. Yeah. Let's drag the constellation in here. As you can see, up here, I'm just going to stick a quick step backwards. This is the, uh, the of course, the constellation, of course. But um, as you can see, you can see the weapons there in black. And if I turn this all the way to weapons, with the annoying sound that accompanies it, uh, I have a weapon here. It's kind of the same one that's on top of the ship already, but, you know, I'm just going to drag that over. And replace it. And that's how you, you know, change your weapons. In future versions, there's a rumor about it that there's going to be cranes lowering stuff onto your ship, and you know that's all fluff. For now, this is the functionality we've got, and what we should use. I don't think I can access my power plant on this ship just yet because it's not finished. Thrusters are pretty much the same. These are integrated into the ship over here and over here and back. These actually rotate so they can, you know, provide counter thrust and vertical thrust and all that stuff. Cargo bay don't have much in this either yet. Um, I suppose the uh, Hornet would be the easiest to do that, but I don't have one. So you're going to have to wait for that one a little bit. So that is the uh, the holo table. As you notice, the light dimmed when I uh, used that, so that was pretty cool. I'm grab my controller here again. And that's about it, really. Um, some people have been able to get onto the top of the constellation. Uh, I can't. I don't know how they did it. Probably with a uh, cry engine hack or something, or a cheat. Doesn't really matter. Um, I just can't figure it out. Like I said, I'm not that good with cry engine. Um, well, that's about it, really. That is the constellation from the upcoming game Star Citizen. If you'd like to pledge, please visit robertsspaceindustries.com. Uh, it's a great game, completely crowdfunded uh, as of now. Uh, they raised uh, over, blah, 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 let me think, over 17 million by now. We're almost at 18 million. And, well, we'd like to go a little further. <laughs> well, they would. I mean, I'm just a fan. I love it if they know, completely crowdfunded, just say all those to all those um, publishers, you know, to go fuck yourself. And I just said the end, uh, the F word. Oh well. Anyway, um, Star Citizen, Constellation, and me. Uh, next up, The Freelancer. Thank you for watching, have a pleasant day.